The Athabasca watershed is huge, covering nearly a quarter of Alberta. It starts in Jasper's stunning mountains and winds down to the Peace Athabasca Delta. This river isn't just wonderful to look at, it's a lifeline for many ecosystems and communities. Since 2009, the Athabasca Watershed Council, or AWC, has been all about keeping this river system healthy. As one of Alberta's 11 watershed councils, they team up with different groups to encourage better care for the river, study it inside and out, and help everyone understand why protecting water matters. In the early 2010s, the AWC flagged the Pembina River sub-watershed as having some significant issues due to human activity. So they decided to dig into it with a detailed riparian health study. Local communities formed the Pembina River Watershed Technical Advisory Committee when the Council shared its findings. This committee includes First Nations, Métis, municipalities and other stakeholders working to tackle these challenges. The AWC has been instrumental in forming and supporting similar groups across the watershed, ensuring a collaborative approach to addressing local issues. Over 500 acres of riparian area and wetlands have been restored or protected through the Healthy Shorelines Initiative. And that's thanks to 45 landowners and 19 partner groups stepping up over the past five years. No matter what natural resource or environment we're trying to manage, it's all about people and communication. And what's really interesting about water is everybody uses it, everybody needs it, everybody impacts it. So if you uh, introduce a water topic, you tend to get everybody to the table. And once they're there, you can talk about a lot of things. You can talk about how we're developing the land and how that's impacting water, or you can talk about air quality and how that's impacting water. So Water's a really great way to get everybody into a room to talk about where we're at and where we want to go and what we want the landscape to look like in the future for our children and future generations. So, so water is the starting point, um, but it opens up a lot of other things and, and gets people talking. So a watershed approach is important because um, we may look at a river and think just of the water, but um, what we, what is quite often forgotten is all the activity on the landscape ends up impacting what occurs in the river, in the water. So whether that's agricultural, urban, industrial um, impacts, most of those activities occur on the landscape and those activities impact, end up having um, impacts either great or small on the water quality in the river. So if we were just to manage just to the water aspect and forget about the landscape, we'd be missing out on about 95% of what's actually um, could be impacting the, the water. Riparian areas are a big deal. They help with everything from flood prevention to drought resilience. Local farmers and ranchers are crucial in making restoration projects work. And groups like Alice have played a key role in making it all happen. Yeah, so Alice uh, works with agricultural producers to um, produce ecosystem services that kind of benefits the whole uh, community and landscape. So anything from planting shelter belt trees to riparian health management to water quality to biodiversity type projects. Um, and a lot of what the Athabasca Watershed Council does is come and help with projects that are related to anything water related, obviously. Um, so, but that can vary in terms of what the scope of the project is about. So anything from drought and flood mitigation to adding biodiversity to improving water quality. Um, those are the type of projects that we work on together. Um, a lot of times on the landscape, what that equals to is fencing off riparian areas and putting in offsite waters, um, as well as doing tree planting projects along riparian areas to increase biodiversity. You know, the, fund, the funding is nice. You know, they help fund this project here. And, you know, I certainly appreciate, you know, that and the input they have. Um, I'm a firm believer that these projects should be done regardless of who's funding them. You know, we were planning to do this anyways. 
and the fact that somebody came along and said, oh, we can help you out with that, well, that's great. Well, well, well some people would say they don't really help your operation any, but they do, uh, I would just say it, let's put it this way, it helps to keep the water in the lake and the, in the creek cleaner. Um, because then the cattle don't access to the to the creek or to the lake directly, um, which and I've seen especially on dry years, where the cattle will spend too much time in the lake just to get a drink of water. We are we try to be good neighbors, and good stewards of the land, and, and even the water resources to try and keep them clean. Uh, and you can only do so much, but I mean if you can keep the cattle right out of the lake or out of the out of the creek, it makes a big difference to the quality of the water. Much of this progress would not have happened without funding. Programs like Alberta's Watershed Resiliency and Restoration Program and companies like Pembina Pipeline Corporation make these projects possible. The Athabasca Watershed Council proves what happens when communities work together. By pitching in, we're protecting the Athabasca River and ensuring it stays strong for the environment, our communities, and the economy.